Hey there, welcome to this first uh, training video for um, Facebook advertising. So first, let's go ahead and get started with an overview, but I want to welcome you definitely for being here, right? Wanted to improve your business. Uh, for those of you home-based business owners, consultant coaches, um, uh, small business owners, I just want to take your business to the next level uh, and apply Facebook advertising as a way to expose your business, increase your leads, etc. This first overview we're going to be doing here is uh, getting started as a way to get it started with Facebook. And the reason why we do that is just to ensure that you have a clear, clear understanding of what uh, uh, Facebook overall different uh, applications are and different components of Facebook um, so you don't get confused with terms that we may have perhaps may use in the future if you're totally brand new if you are advanced you can stick together stay with this video see if you learn something new um, you don't need to watch minute by minute but perhaps you know skip a little bit ahead and see what um, what could be useful to you that is maybe new right Facebook is always changing technology is always changing so in January 2019, what we're going to cover, this is how it's going to look like, but it can change at any point. If you're a little more advanced, um, you are you have specific areas that you actually want to learn right now, by all means, go ahead and, and go through that uh, specific area, and then you can come back and rewatch other areas that are, are not so critical. At least that's the way I think I, I'll learn, right, to go to the areas where I need uh, the most help with at the moment so I can go in and take action as soon as possible right away um, and then if you get stuck in some other areas perhaps you may want to go back to other videos um, at a later future right so first in this video we're going to talk a little bit about the different Facebook family apps and services right just because again I want to make sure that you have a clear understanding uh, 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 of Facebook apps and the reason why is because um, this is the, these are the different apps that you have available where your ads could be shown. Okay. So for example, the, obviously the most obvious one is Facebook, right? That may, this is a picture of the bubble version, but you have here, um, the desktop version, right? This is my profile. You have here home, which is probably what you log in the most to when you first come in into either phone or on your desktop. Um, this is this is the you you probably you see in this page um, again depending where um, you know if, if, if Facebook has its changed by the time you you're watching this video so Facebook is the most obvious right you got you got friends that you can connect to uh, and so many different applications within it like you have your watch platform which is uh, people posting video content like long format video content as a way to compete with YouTube you know, are you have even shows I think putting out content and and, and, and and channels. So not just um not just users but other bigger brands go in there and, and release video content. You have your marketplace where you can list things that you want to sell. You have your groups, right? If you want to belong to communities, you have pages, um either pages that you may have saved or that you you uh, manage uh, or do you want to create. Uh, and you have Messenger platform, right? Which in a mobile is a totally different pla separate platform from the actual uh, Facebook mobile version, uh, but it's a way to communicate directly with um, other users in Facebook. Um, what else we got here? So Facebook, right? That's in overall is uh, all the different components within Facebook or inside Facebook. Instagram, um, it's another company that got bought by uh, Facebook, right? They are very picture oriented. Uh, people go there to get inspired by things, look at pictures, right? Um, at least that's the way I use it. Anytime I want to um, see what is new in my area or what my friends are doing or if I, um, or to discover food, right, uh, that are around the area, I go to Instagram simply because um, people get very, very creative. But as I mentioned before, Instagram is a platform, uh, is a totally simple application, but it's, but it's owned by Facebook, okay? They were bought um, some time ago, if you research Instagram, Facebook, if you Google Instagram, Facebook, I'm sure you can probably find out when it got bought by Facebook and uh, how much they bought it for, 
Um, so it's not an application that Facebook came up with, but definitely has done a lot of advancement development in it, a lot of investment. Um, uh, but yeah, now they're owned by Facebook and because they're owned by Facebook, this is where, um, where your ads may show up should you decide where to place your advert, where you want your advertising to um, show up, right? Um, now the reason, I, I, again, I mentioned Facebook is because the ads platform is actually managed within Facebook. And now I'm not talking about the, the ads that you see on your, on your mobile application that says, hey, promote your video to get more exposure, um, you know, kind of like the boost button and the Facebook ad. It, for those of you that have tried it before, I've seen it. No, this is actually a platform that we're going to go over into a little more later. That is, a, a, you know, a platform where you go and, and manage your ads in case um, you've never seen it before. We're going to go into that later. Uh, then you have Messenger. We already touched base on this, um, but Messenger on mobile is a totally separate um, platform, as I mentioned before, right? Um, on the message uh, or a totally different application on the mobile version um ads come up not in this version though because in in desktop version is it's basically like it is this uh, the same thing right um but let me see as you can get a mobile version here No, it's just this comes up, right? It will not come up on my desktop, but um, I'm sure you've seen it, right? Probably, you, I'm sure you more than likely seen the the um, the Messenger desktop version, and there are ads that will come up in there. So, for example, let's go back to real quick to Instagram ads so that you have an idea what ads look like um, if, in case you miss them, right? Um, these are some example, very similar to the Facebook platform ads will come up on the on the news feed. Uh, they also will come up on stories, right? Stories, if you don't know, it's um, little icons that will come up over here. I'm sure if you Google it, you will see at um, what stories is like. But now uh, little icons that will come up over here from your friends, little circles are stories and people can advertise in that as well. Uh, then you have uh, the news feeds ad, as you can see, they take up a lot of more space. Uh, but they're limited on certain things you can do, right? Because one of the things that you want to be aware of is, for example, text on Instagram cannot have links. In, oh, it doesn't, doesn't, doesn't have links in it just because the way Instagram was built, right? There's no link to it. They, there's just typically a button that will come up on the top. Like on Facebook, you, you can add links to the text if you want people to click in there and go somewhere else to your landing page, capture page. Um, we were talking about messenger ads. Let's see if something comes up here so that you have an idea what, uh, right, uh, not this one. Um, but here's an example, right? You scroll in, you go into your messenger app on the phone and then you scroll into your friends list and typically uh, the 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 second the third below the second or third conversation that you had it will be a sponsor ad that will look similar to this right you can see there this is our example of that and then uh, if we go back to our different applications um, we have the audience network. Now, audience network is not an app per se of Facebook. It's just basically, um, you know, different apps and websites where Facebook goes and buys <coughs> space for advertisements, advertisements, so to speak, similar to what Google does. Google, um, you know, if you know, if you go to other websites, they also do the same thing, right? They buy space within uh, popular websites or other websites, and that's how you can uh, have your ad show in many, many, many different other places other than just the uh, Facebook applications, right? Like Instagram, um, etc. Now, there's something that doesn't come up on this is uh, WhatsApp. I Facebook bought WhatsApp. Um, I don't know when. And WhatsApp is basically a um, 
an app that a lot of people use, especially, especially in the Latin American culture. It's very popular, right? Me being Hispanic, I, I know a lot of it because it's an app that you can use for text messages, make phone calls. You can send files, videos, audio, etc. right? So um, very, very... It has very, very similar features to what the Messenger app does, right? So um, um, definitely it's just another great application for uh, communications. Um, a lot of people use it, again, for texting, right? Um, but again, it, it's, a, it's a company that Facebook purchased. I still, I never use it, so I don't know what type of ads can be done here. Here's how uh, you can Google on Facebook, right? You can Google Facebook whatsapp advertise or something like that and i'm sure facebook will you you will see the article that facebook wrote about in reference to how to create ads to whatsapp but we're not going to cover that on this training video as uh, this is you know something that uh, we haven't um go over or use it uh, at all so that's completes the the first module the first um training reference the different applications and services that are available within Facebook and hope to see you on the next training. All right, bye.